All right, guys, this is my 2021 Trek Marlin 5 XXL. Um, it is the factory orange with the lithium gray uh, emblems, the Trek emblems. Um, so I guess I'll just start by the front and move on to the rear or from up to down to show you the upgrades I have on my Marlin 5. So I have these Montranger orange grips. Um, they're really nice and comfortable. Only thing I miss is like going uphill. Um, they are the the stock grips um, are much more comfortable going uphill. These aren't really, but you get used to it. And they're nice and you know it has these little rivets. Um, keeps your hands nice and cool. So it's that's a nice feature. Um, uh, I guess we'll start with the I have the Mucky Nuts uh, fender. Um, it prevents from mud getting underneath the frame um and from getting my nuts mucky um so yeah that's a nice little touch to the bike uh, i have a rock shock judy silver 100 millimeters of travel um it has a lockout and it is an air fork um i am running a little bit higher um pressure because i do jump this bike um but yeah it's a lot of fun it rides a lot better than the suntour sr suntour um fork it came with um, I do have a bike pump on here the MSW bike pump and a water bottle holder I got from Trek um, it is an XXL frame um, and I guess the handlebars are stock um, I guess we'll move on to the drivetrain and the wheels and tires and all that um, I do have a SRAM 1x12 um, yeah the SRAM 1x12 uh, drivetrain um, I did have a 3x7 or it did come with the 3x7 but I did get rid of that because it was wasn't really suiting my needs on the trail um, of course you know you have to replace the wheels in order for the drivetrain to fit the Marlin 5 um, I think with the Marlin 6 and 7 you can run a stock wheel uh, with the stock hubs but in just change the drivetrain but in this case for the Marlin 5 um, you do have to change the wheels um so you could have just changed the rear but i just changed both um it has the von traeger line comp 30 wheels um and it has i'm running the maxis ardent exo tubeless ready uh it's a 29 by 2.25 front and rear um i do have the flat pedals as well uh, the von traeger trail elite mountain bike pedals um so yeah pretty much it i mean i put the group this i got the whole group set um from a local bike shop uh of course it comes with the cassette the trailer cranks i got a uh, dub uh, bottom bracket as well also got the shifter you guys downshift the upshift is the just upshift like that it's pretty simple it's a little bit hard to get used to at first but after a while um, yeah, and I do have a dropper post as well. Uh, it is externally routed. Um, I had to just do some Google research. Um, I was afraid it wasn't going to fit when I ordered it, but it actually did. Uh, local bike shop pretty much put all the stuff together for me. Uh, built the bike. Um, I've had this bike for two months. Uh, it is a hundred. Feel focus. Come on, focus. There you go. 170 millimeters. Uh, dropper post um, I am running the stock saddle um, it is not very comfortable but this bike is not really made for comfort it's just made for shredding the trails um, but yeah I mean it's it's a really dope bike um, I really enjoyed it really enjoying it so far I've had it for two months and it was already it's already this modified it's kind of still uh, crazy to think about um, but yeah, I mean, um, it's it's a dope bike. Um, I recommend y'all get this bike if you still can because the season is still, um, well, I mean, season just started, but as far as like the bike shortage, it's pretty hard to get a bike uh, nowadays. Um, if you have a local Trek store or like a, a regular bike shop that supplies Treks bikes, um, and if you're new to mountain biking, I recommend looking at this bike. Um, a good beginner bike it's also a good commuter as well but i just decided to um make it a mountain bike just a full send kind of bike um 
So yeah, it's you know, it's a great bike. Um, can't really complain. I uh, didn't really like it at first with all the drive training I had on there, um, but I just made it made it what I wanted on it. So um, yeah, if y'all have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Um, yeah, this is the build. <clears throat> have more to come. I'm gonna get carbon fiber handlebars soon with a upgraded stem. Um, trying to think what else I'm gonna do to this bike. Uh, can't really think. I thought of something else, but I forgot what I was gonna do. Uh, anyways, um, but yeah, um, yeah. So, oh, the brakes. Yeah, the brakes are definitely in stock. Is the Tech Row brakes? Um, Tech Tro brakes. My bad. Um, it is stock. It came with the bike for six hundred dollars. This bike was $600, and I'm very surprised it came with hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, it is a 180 millimeter rotor, um, front and rear, I believe. Um, these brakes are holding up pretty well. Um, it is, my rear brake is making some noise. It sounds like boiling water. Not sure what that is. I don't know if these brakes need more fluid or if it's just I need to replace them soon. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, the thing that's stuck in this bike is the handlebar stem brakes in the frame but you can't really do anything much to the frame um yeah i mean you can't there's really no point i mean you could get a different bike and you know put all the take all the parts off and put it on that new frame but i you know i like to be interesting so it's you know i like to be different but yeah guys i'm in this video um i hope you hope you all enjoyed it this is a little review i have on my trek more than five um great bike uh i really love it I'm going to keep it for as long as I possibly can. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any questions, just um, let me know. And my Instagram is at tall underscore skinny MTB20. So if y'all want to go follow that, um, my Instagram page for this bike. I'd most definitely so if you're interested in this um, beautiful build I have. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this video and I hope y'all have a great day.